I was cracking guys welcome 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 to the mango grove my name is krisha and this is going to be a quick update on icp um every time we've been doing a live stream and uh, a lot of you guys have been asking me for an icp update i always tell you that i'm going to give you guys a daily video because i notice a lot of interest in this um in this token so we are going to be covering icp today i'll be giving you guys my thoughts on it but before that guys some quick housekeeping it's not boring it's not boring no uh, bitcoin having is around the corner two weeks from now is the bitcoin having guys and we are doing these crazy amazing very very entertaining live streams and i hope i hope that you guys are catching the live streams there's a lot that's spoken about on there especially trading wisdom um as well as uh, golden nuggets on trading psychology and i don't want you guys missing it and if you do miss it of course it's always on the channel for you guys to rewatch. so make sure you're catching the live streams also, also yesterday, we had a very, very successful private market session in the Seed Clubhouse chat. I presented yesterday, gave you guys amazing alpha on the next alt season. And so I give you guys my entire thesis. Okay, it's all very quantifiable. You can put it put, put it up on your charts. So that inclusive of uh, my Bitcoin bull run targets. Yeah, that was a very, very interesting session as well. Um, I know that we have a lot of new seedlings. So for those of you who are new to the program, go ahead and check it out on, under seed resources. All of the, the major market sessions that have some amazing alpha on them, we have been recording it and uh, while well, putting it up for you guys, okay, to rewatch. So go ahead, take notes if you have to. And also guys, this happens every Thursday. All right, so be there or be a circle. <laughs> Alrighty, so with that guys, um, let's get into IC. P. Uh, the last time we spoke about, it, I believe, was what around two weeks ago, almost two weeks ago, and we were looking at these regions. Now, just to give you guys a brief sort of recap on what we were looking at, I said that hey, ICP has a very, very clear bull flag breakout. Okay, let's go ahead and check this out. This was it right here, bull flag breakout. In addition to that, well, this is the weekly chart on ICP right now. I had gone ahead and identified this critical region of resistance now turned into support. All right. And this region is, uh, well, from $15.62 going all the way down to $14.70, the red box tetri right here. If you want to mark down those numbers on your screen, please go ahead and do so. And you can see that, hey, we got a very, very clear candle close over that region of resistance. Now, what entails confirmation? Um, of, you know, price taking out a certain level of resistance. What entails confirmation? Well, confirmation, guys, is always going to be two consecutive candle closes over a region. All right, so far we have one. It appears we're about to get the second one. Today is Friday, so we have two more days left on this candle. A lot can happen in two days, but I believe right now that the broader theme that I'm seeing on... Um, well, on Bitcoin, not on Bitcoin, sorry, in the crypto sphere right now, if you just look at my, my right hand side bar, everything is red for the most part, right? We've seen these crazy, crazy pullbacks across the board getting into the Bitcoin having. Here's the broader thesis that I have, the broader idea that I have. I'm saying bull market is still on, but get greedy on your bids. Yeah at least in this juncture of the market, get greedy on the bids. Try and score bids on very, very, very important levels. Okay, important levels, guys, can often be found on your weekly time frame. So right now, this is ICP on the weekly time frame. This is the key region that I'm seeing right now, 1562 down to 1470. Why? Because check this out. This is a multi-year region of resistance that we cleared here, right? The last time ICP was living over this was only in April of, April of 2022. Guys, it's April 2024. All right, so get greedy on those key levels, okay? It gets easier to manage a trade if you catch it on a key level because in case ICP actually breaks this region of um, uh, resistance now turned into support, we start closing candles underneath this region, you know that, hey, you're wrong on the trade. Get out of the trade and gun for lower levels, all right? Keep it that simple. Keep it that simple. But right now, I think the broader thesis is just based on the current market juncture. I think you can get greedy on the bids. So try and gun for the red zone territory right here. But hey, we don't want to say just gun for the red zone. Question is, can price even get down there? Is there anything suggesting that, hey, ICP gets down there, you know, soon? Well, for that, get into the Mango dashboard. All right, you'll find this on app.mangoresearch.co. This has been helping uh, all of us stay on the right side of various trends. Um, so let's go ahead and filter out ICP from this list. All right, so ICP, uh, <laughs> lungs across the board. This still looks relatively healthy. It looks better than most altcoins out there right now. I feel like ICP, the bulls are far, far, far more in control than any other coin out there. 
Um, so yeah, they are. I feel like the bears are taking over in, to some extent, but on the lower time frames. Um, so here's what I'm seeing: 12 hour to the weekly time frame, we have longs across the board. Okay, so the bulls are still very much in control on those time frames. However, sh um, four hour is short telling us that, hey, the bears are taking this down on the lower time frames. And the thing about trends, guys, is that it starts from your lower time frames, then cascades on over to your higher time frames. Now, question is, can we actually see this short cascade on over to the 12 hour time frame? Right, that's going to tell us that, hey, we could see a bit more of a dip on there. And a way to sort of gauge if um, the bears have more strength in them is look at the volatility here on the four hour time frame. Shows 59. 59, guys, is pretty healthy. It's moderate. Telling me that, you know what, the bears are in control on the four hour time frame, but they have a lot more juice still left in them to take this down. All right, so we could see this bearish um, phase actually expand into the 12 hour time frame. All right, so I will not be surprised if the 12 hour also starts flipping from long to neutral to short. We'll have to wait on weakness, but this tells me that, hey, the bears do have juice in them on your lower time frames to take this down even further. All right, so what you would be looking for here to see if the bulls actually start losing steam on the 12 hour time frame is look for this long to start flipping neutral and then to short. All right, I suggest that if you have a very, very heavy bag on ICP and you want to keep up with the trend and volatility profile to help you understand who's in control at any given point in time, is it the bulls or is it the bears, set in those alerts right there. Now, I don't have a trade right now on ICP, so I don't have an alert on here, but you can go ahead and add an alert if you do have a heavy position on ICP. I have mine currently set on Cardano and things like Bitcoin, Solana, where I do have my heaviest trades. Um, so yeah, go ahead and use these alerts. That way, if you are out, okay, and if your, your attention is needed on the chart, you will be notified via email. All right, so as soon as this flips neutral, you know that, hey, the, bear, the bears are taking over here on the 12 hour time frame. All right, they will be in full throttle if this, the 12 hour also starts flipping short. Alrighty, so now we know that, okay, the bears clearly on the four hour time frame are saying that they have juice still left in them. And you can see the returns here, 5%. They're seeing follow through on that time frame, guys. With this now, let's get into ICP. We did open a brand new 12 hour candle. Jeez Louise, this is looking weak on the 12 hour, guys. This was a very, very bearish candle. Notice there's no wick on this candle telling me that there were barely any buyers that actually stepped in to pick, pick price up right here. In fact, there were no buyers that stepped in. Right, the low was sixteen sixty five, and the close was was sixteen sixty seven. That's pathetic, <laughs> but okay. Um, it appears that we've actually triggered a bearish pattern. For those of you who do not spot it, I'm noticing an Adam and Eve like formation right here. Okay, this is it. This is an official break. What we could be getting is um, a test of the neckline and then perhaps another breakdown and that actually um, sits in line with the four hour trend right we're seeing short right here okay volatility is now switched to 65 okay so the bears still have juice guys just because that's it's at 65 now the bears still have juice this could still cascade on over to the 12 hour time frame we could see that weakness cascade on over to the 12 hour time frame so we can see that the, the bears are seeing follow through right here um, so now let's go ahead and take the measured move of this um, well of this Adam and Eve like formation all right the breakdown will take ICP all the way down to $13.82. Okay, I know people don't want to see this. I don't I know people don't want to see this, but here's my entire thesis right now. I currently believe that we're still in a bull market. Okay, but bull markets, guys, they very seldom, they don't ever, not seldom, they don't move up in one straight line like this. All right, ICP would not move up. All of this was just green on green on green candles, right? It's not going to move up in one straight line. Bull markets, guys, they often move like this. Ebb and flow, ebb and flow of price action, all right? And as a trader, as an investor, the best, best, best bids to be had are these bids right here. The bids on those higher lows, okay? The dips, the pullback before the next impulsive rally. You wanna capture that pullback because chances are you get to see follow through on your trade relatively quickly in addition to, if you are wrong on the trade, you get to know when you're wrong very, very fast. All right, so we gotta figure out when is this dip, this dip coming to us on ICP and what level is it gonna be coming to us at? All right, so we're seeing a current dip on ICP. I'm saying get greedy on the bid. We know that, okay, there is one uh, significant zone of support right here from 1562 to 1470. All right, one additional zone that I'm seeing is hinged primarily on the Ichimoku cloud on the weekly time frame. So go ahead on the weekly time frame, pull up your Ichimoku cloud. All right, we're, we're still currently trending in that cloud. All right, and um, I'm gonna be looking at the next bit opportunity coming to us at the Tenkin right there. 
we can make it down to the Tenkin, I think that would also be a very good bid to be had because it's not just the weekly Tenkin, guys. If I go ahead and pull up pull up my Mango Dynamic indicator on the weekly time frame, notice where the Dynamic is also swinging in at. All right, it's coming up right there at around that weekly Tenkin. So it's all within that same zone. So I believe that right now ICP's got two very, very good bid zones on, on the chart. All right, the first one you already have, which is that red zone territory up there. Okay, if we start losing that, then you can start gunning for $12.64 all the way down to $11.79. And notice, guys, price is still trending on that weekly dynamic indicator. In fact, that's the first thing that actually gave us the, the bullish tilt, right? We took out weekly dynamic resistance, started closing candles over it, dynamic turns green, and then off to the freaking races for ICP. The current um, levels on the dynamic, for those of you who do not have access to the indicator, but you want the zone, it comes in from around $11.70 going all the way up to $11.80. All right, now of course, if you have a big bag of ICP and you want access to the indicator, you'll find it on the mangoway.com slash dynamic. All right, I've been using the dynamic indicator as a hack on many of the altcoins that I'm currently in trend trades on, so you can go ahead and pull it up if you would like to. Now, um, these are the two major, major zones I'm going to be looking at on ICP's chart. And here's the thing, guys. Even if ICP comes down to this $11 ter territory right here, okay, will that be a bearish look for the chart? No, because the weekly trend, believe it or not, guys, even if ICP does come down to $11, $11.79, the weekly trend is still intact. For the weekly trend to break, right, ICP at this juncture has to lose this wick low right here. Right, this wick low comes in at around $10.54. We could very well come down only to bounce off and then make our way to the upside. And would this still be a healthy picture for ICP? It would. Because what we're seeing here is just a series of higher highs and then higher lows on the weekly time frame. Right now, it's up to us to capitalize on that next weekly higher low. Get greedy on the bids. This is the current theme of the market. It's still a bull market, but start getting greedy on your bids. So now this is the current picture on ICP. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like. I'll now see you in the next update. With this, trade safely, trade stress-free, trade the main way, trade the easy way. Ciao, you guys.